Norman Hayworth, Wikipedia article audio. Sir Norman Hayworth FRS. Chorley, Lancashire March 19, 1950 in Barnt Green, Worcestershire was a British chemist best known for his groundbreaking work on ascorbic acid while working at the University of Birmingham. He received the 1937 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his investigations on carbohydrates and vitamin C. The prize was shared with Swiss chemist Paul Carrer for his work on other vitamins. Academic Career Recognition Personal Life Hayworth worked out the correct structure of a number of sugars, and is known among organic chemists for his development of the Hayworth projection that translates three-dimensional sugar structures into convenient two-dimensional graphical form. Having worked for some time from the age of 14 in the local Rylands linoleum factory managed by his father, he studied for and successfully passed the entrance examination to the University of Manchester in 1903 to study chemistry. He made this pursuit in spite of active discouragement by his parents. He gained his first class honours degree in 1906. After gaining his master's degree under William Henry Perkin, Jr., he was awarded an 1851 research fellowship from the Royal Commission for the Exhibition of 1851 and studied at the University of Göttingen earning his Ph.D. in Otto Wallach S. Laboratory after only one year of study. ADSC from the University of Manchester followed in 1911 after which he served a short time at the Imperial College of Science and Technology as senior demonstrator in chemistry. In 1912 Hayworth became a lecturer at United College of University of St Andrews in Scotland and became interested in carbohydrate chemistry, which was being investigated at St Andrews by Thomas Purdy and James Irvine. Hayworth began his work on simple sugars in 1915 and developed a new method for the preparation of the methyl ethers of sugars using methyl sulfate and alkali. He then began studies on the structural features of the disaccharides. Hayworth organized the laboratories at St Andrews University for the production of chemicals and drugs for the British government during World War I. He was appointed Professor of Organic Chemistry at the Armstrong College of Durham University in 1920. The next year Hayworth was appointed Head of the Chemistry Department at the college. It was during his time in the northeast of England that he married Violet Chilton Dobby. In 1925 he was appointed Mason Professor of Chemistry at the University of Birmingham. Among his lasting contributions to science was the confirmation of a number of structures of optically active sugars. By 1928, he had deduced and confirmed, among others, the structures of maltose, celebios, lactose, gentiobios, molybios, gentianus, raffinose, as well as the glucoside ring tautomeric structure of aldose sugars. In 1933, working with the then assistant director of research Edmund Hurst and a team led by postdoctoral student Maurice Stacy, having properly deduced the correct structure and optical isomeric nature of vitamin C, Hayworth reported the synthesis of the vitamin. Hayworth had been given his initial reference sample of water-soluble vitamin C or hexaronic acid by Hungarian physiologist Albert St. Georgi, who had Cody's covered its vitamin properties along with Charles Glenn King, and had more recently discovered that it could be extracted in bulk from Hungarian paprika. In honor of the compound's antiscorbutic properties, Hayworth and St. Georgi now proposed the new name of ascorbic acid for the molecule, with L-ascorbic acid as its formal chemical name. Hayworth is commemorated at the University of Birmingham in the Hayworth Building, 
which houses most of the University of Birmingham School of Chemistry. The school has a Hayworth Chair of Chemistry, from 2007 held by Professor Nigel Simpkins. In 1977 the Royal Mail issued a postage stamp featuring Hayworth's achievement in synthesizing vitamin C and his Nobel Prize. He also developed a simple method of representing on paper the three-dimensional structure of sugars. The representation, using perspective, now known as a Hayworth projection, is still widely used in biochemistry. In 1922 he married Violet Chilton Dobby, daughter of Sir James Johnston Dobby. They had two sons, James and David. He was knighted in 1947. He died suddenly from a heart attack on March 19, 1950, his 67th birthday.